Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Often we see potential in many houses, probably in every single house that we see. That is particularly true in the house that we're going to look at today. It's a gorgeous, cute, quaint, pretty ancient house in the town of Guardialfiera in Molise. It's full of character. Yes, it's going to need a lot of renovation, but because it doesn't have a very big square footage, I think you can keep things to a budget. We really hope that you enjoyed this video. Grazie, ciao! <laughs> Cordial Fiera is located in the Lower Molise and it has a population of around 950 people. This town has been inhabited since at least the 10th or 11th centuries. The Guardialfiera Lake or Lago del Licione is actually a man-made dam built in the 60s and 70s to provide water to Guardialfiera and other surrounding towns. In the lake, you can see the remnants of an ancient bridge, which is said to have been crossed by Hannibal during the Punic Wars between Rome and Carthage. Cordial Fiera is quite popular with foreigners, for its size, it has a good population of expats, particularly from the US, Argentina, Australia and Germany. The town is small and very well kept. You can spend hours wandering around the beautiful historical center with its cobblestone streets, stone houses, or you can just visit the lookout and admire the beautiful greenery surrounding the town and the lake. Okay, so that is the lake of Guardialfiera and most likely if you have a car you will park somewhere along here no timed free parking and you can access the home from different ways but if you let's say that you would just park your car here you come over this way and this is your house. So you have that balcony that is going to overlook the gorgeous view behind us. I'll turn around so that you see what I'm talking about. So pretty much the balcony is straight facing this way. Just go up a few steps, pretty comfortable, and then we are in the historical center. The church is over there. So as we enter, we find this gorgeous original stone, very likely is the same stone as used um, in the church here of Guardialfiera. We have water and drainage over there, 
so that's good to know. How can I describe so much character? You just can't. So enjoy the view. Enjoy this cute little house. Then we have another type of stone here as well, another brick of a different era. Your fireplace, a gorgeous nook. And interestingly enough, Guardia Alfiera has a very famous pesepre vivente. So it's pretty much like a live nativity scene that happens throughout the month of December. Very, very famous in the area. And it's been going on for how long? Maybe over 30 years, I believe. And this house is one of the houses that's used um, for the stops of the, of the live nativity scene. And you can see why. They would have put this, um, the wood there at some point. Pizza oven, bread oven. And then over here, we have a window that faces the back and the gorgeous mountain that kind of um, is the backdrop of Guardia Alfiera. We have the entry to the basement or the cantina right there. And we have another entry to the cantina over here. Right over there. And we did a video, a short video about it a second ago. So I'm just gonna put it on the screen now. We have our basement. We don't have the key to the basement, but you can access it. Can you access the basement from the back as well yes. at some point? Yeah. Okay. And then you have these stairs. We're not going there because we don't know how safe they are, but you can see a little bit there. I'm going to put the camera through. Ah, the height, the ceiling is pretty high. Okay, super cute. It's so full of character. Oh my god. You know, it's sad that the roof is done, but it's not. It would have been beautiful. If you enjoy our content, please consider supporting us on Patreon. From only $3.50 a month, you can help us create the content you love. I will leave the link in the description section of this video. Grazie mille. Oh my god, it's so heavy! I hope they leave the things here. Do you think they will take the little special thing? No, no. They will leave everything. everything. Ah. The, the, the glasses, we have yeah. some from our house in Abruzzo, but they're big. I hadn't, I hadn't seen them this small, they're so cute. to try the cheese yeah. an oregano Okay, and then we come over here to go upstairs. It's a room pretty much the same size as the room below us. Ah, okay. Ooh, the roof looks new. So the floor is wood. We have a window facing the mountain again. And this 
is the balcony from which we'll see a gorgeous view. I prefer not to go there or try to open that door because as you can see, there's a very narrow passage there. So I won't do that. If you're still watching this video, it seems to me that you're pretty serious about purchasing a home in Italy. If you're ever in need of expert, independent, legal advice and support at any stage of your property purchase process, we will be more than happy to refer you to a fantastic group of professionals we have been collaborating with. Just send us an email to rossiniandco at gmail.com. That's Rossini with two N's. Ah, yes, that we filmed that too. There are some makeshift steps. Um, but then it would be awesome to look at that from this side. This is where I fell last week. Because uh. <laughs> I wasn't looking at the floor, I kept looking at the screen. The things we do for you guys. Hey, hello, puppy. <laughs> Super tiny. Okay. Ah, sopra la. See, si. see. Si, si. Wait, look at the stone. It's already. You don't have to expose it. It's no. already stone. It's already exposed. Yeah, the job is done for you. So this door here is yeah. the basement. The basement. The the window the, is the living, the e, kitchen, yeah. the entrance room, See? and the top floor is the bedroom. The bedroom. Yeah. There's another sink here. <laughs> Can you do a bit of recording there? Yeah, I'm recording. God, look at this. This is, this is two meters deep, guys. Ay, look at the arch. It's a beautiful arch, two meters deep. And then this wall here, I don't know what that wall is, or what that is there. And then you've got another ledge wall here. And then those stairs going up to that hole into the kitchen area. And look at that. At least 15, but that's, that's six meters and this is about three. So that's about 18. I mean, maybe, that's, maybe that path is, is not yours. But, but the area is it's a very good size area for tables and chairs and Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope that you enjoyed it. As always, please let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you so much to our patrons for their generosity. 
Your extra support is humbling and very much appreciated. Are you wanting to have a little piece of Italy with you? If so, remember to visit our merchandise store. We have lots of designs to keep you inspired and working towards your dream. We have a lot more content for you to enjoy. If you would like to continue watching our home tours, please click here. If you would like to see our own home and renovation story, click here. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Ciao!